Hey, what's good, man? It's your boy GSC Capo, man. Smash that like and subscribe button. Today I'm doing something a little different. Bring you uh some Dragon Ball Super content. You know what I'm saying? I've been up to date with this. I've been reading the mangas, listening to the mangas. I've been uh, I done seen the uh the Dragon Ball movie already. Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. Look, bro. Hey, shout out to Un Unrelent Gaming for this, bro. I've been following this dude for, like, probably a year, bro. Like, a whole year or two, man. Probably longer, probably three years now. You feel me? Listen to everything, bro, watching almost all his videos, man. But he be having some good, great content, man. Some real, real great content, like. So, go uh, subscribe to Unrelent Gaming, man. Shout out to Unrelent Gaming for this, bro. But, uh, yeah, you about to smash this uh, play button, you know what I'm saying? And... Let this rock out. I'm about to check this manga chapter. It's about to end. So the granola arc. I don't know if y'all keeping up to date, but yeah, we on the granola arc now, man. Can't wait till they animate uh animate this shit. Pfft. Graphics gonna be looking crazy as hell, bro. And smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Toei and uh, all of them. They know what they, they know what they doing, bro. They they know what they doing. She's by clicking on the Tori, bell. Toriyama, all of them. Icon bro. to never miss a single video posted on the channel. On top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below. If you guys are simply excited to see where the narrative is going to take us moving forward, because as courtesy of the official Dragon Ball news website and both Herms98 and DBS hype over on Twitter, the following Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 86 leaks, images, spoilers, and information goes as follows. Now, as of course you guys can see here on your screen. It would only now appear as though despite Hey man, and no I'm not wearing the same Nike shirts, bro Nike shirts is only $25 a piece, bro. I got a whole lot of them, nigga Look, even got this bitch just sitting here waiting That's the training shirt, nigga. We got a whole lot, nigga got Look, if I show y'all the look, man I got so much Nike, that motherfuckers should give me endorsement, bro. Like, dead eyes. But, yeah, let's on to that. I'm just saying, look, don't think I'm some dirty nigga, bro. And hell nah. I don't even finish all my clothes. I wear, like, a week or two worth of clothes and then wash that shit. Don't even get to the rest. Hey, man. I got shit up in there. Shit I ain't even wear yet, bro. Hey, Gas having to hold the upper hand against Goku and being stronger than him, Goku is still not willing to back down despite the overwhelming difference in power now, because we only now see to it in the fact that Goku had now gone in jumping back into Ultra Instinct Omen, as within the meantime it only seems as though Gas is also able to increase the size of his fists as well because his hands as a whole- Bro, I wanna know why did Goku go back to Omen, bro? I understand that his, he, he raging right now, he, his heart is- but dang, bro, just calm down. You can't calm down still. Boy, play too much, bro. Goku be pissing me off sometimes, man. Appear to be massive. And man, Vegeta pissed me off too. He always taking L's, bro. <laughs> yeah, they both take L's. I can't even, man. Look, this is crazy size so interestingly enough right before the initial collision involving goku and gas if you notice on down below it seems as though there is a blast that is going to be cutting right in between them to where as of course you guys can see in the next image ahead granola is back thankfully enough this is the granola yeah i knew granola was gonna be back he probably fully healed too what's the name probably spent his time healing him unless he sacrificed himself and actually gave yo it'd be crazy if he sacrificed himself bro and gave some way he sacrificed himself, gave uh, Granola all his motherfucking key and energy and everything, or become one little you know, like Piccolo fused with Cami and Nell and all, and then that, yeah, that should go hard, bro. That'd be hard. That'd be hard story and granola had been now kept out of action for quite some time and it almost now appears as though he will be aiding goku against gas in this fight because with goku now using the elements of ultra instinct oh man vegeta need to join the fight it'd be neither all three of them niggas need to fuck them up bro just like they had motherfucking took jiren out and uh, uh turn him into power like word up bro but they need to beat his ass ain't no elimination this one they need to kill him Omen by also incorporating his emotions along with it, and with Granola now back in the fight, one must now ask the question, okay, are Granola and Goku going to be enough to stop Gas, or is Gas essentially enough somehow to some extent going to be turning the tides and having to put our heroes down, right? Which even then, things appear to get even crazier than what you're seeing go down here, because as of course you guys can see in the next image ahead, all hell seems to be breaking Ah, uh, Goku got his, uh, what's the name back? He turned to a giant, uh, his transformation, uh, what do they call that shit? Um, 
Damn, that shit's like Susano. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that shit's way stronger than Susano, though. Naruto fans, don't hate me because I said that. Hey. Who's following the events of Vegeta getting involved as Goku is shown on the ground, even with Goku's body remaining on the ground, Goku had gone as far as to release that exact key hologram that we saw in the previous arc, which ideally a lot of people... Come on, we never seen Naruto do this, man. Again, Susano, can't handle this, man. Come on, bro. Not even one punch, bro. Goku punch him, destroy everything, bro. Chill have coined as being Susano Goku that we've seen be used against <laughs> Moro, in which Go Goku had gone to pull that off against Gas again, and it kind of seems as though Gas is either running away or doing something of the sorts to where he was engaging with Goku during the course of battle in where... Is there a little heart rip? Like, is that a rip in his chest right there, but it's a heart? That's dope. Unless that's a song. I don't know, that'd be dope though. Hopefully I ain't no weakness point or nothing. Something needs to happen in order for there to be a difference, and something does apparently enough happen to where, as of course you guys can see here, with Goku essentially dead. Look, when y'all draw Susa no Goku, right, don't forget y'all gotta add that heart there, bro. I don't wanna see no images without that heart being there, alright? Down and out, it looks as though the minute he goes on to open his eyes. Or whatever that was, that little rip in the clothes that looked like a heart, that has to be there. That's good detail. I like He's it. back into the silver-haired Ultra Instinct form, which again is a little weird to say the least because we've seen Goku kind of fluctuate now between using the silver-haired form and jumping in and out by using Ultra Instinct only. He's about to find out probably. And it's all for the greater purpose because it only now kind of looks as though right now that Goku is going to do what he needs to in order to finish the job against Gassing, which as of course you guys can see here, something does. And that is through the idea of having the giant key well you see that heart again what is that heart you see that little heart like what what is up with this i want to know what that's about can't wait to the hologram make. of goku go as far as to grab onto gas and go as far as to throw gas literally off the planet goku goes as far as to grab gas look man we ain't never seen nobody in naruto verse uh in the naruto verse do this bro ain't nobody man look bro he gonna punch you toss you off the planet hey chill and throw him off the planet to where all the while behind Gas and Goku, Granola is charging up for his most powerful attack, right? Which again, goes as far as to serve the purpose of teamwork and goes as far as to illustrate and show us that it is only through the utilization of- Yo, he really turned into a fucking giant toss this nigga. Chill, bro. <laughs> like, bro, that's a huge troll move, bro. Hey, chill. I'd have been mad, bro. Imagine the dude grabbing you, toss you off the planet. Hell no, nah, man. What the hell? What in the what? Teamwork and working together and sticking by with each other that is essentially enough going to result in gas literally getting destroyed and thrown off of the planet because as of course you guys can see here in the next image ahead Granola is not looking to hold back because you can kind of go as far as to see it now even with Granola being shown fully recovered that he is literally now looking to put everything that he has within him into this one massive attack to reinsure himself and the others that gas finally goes down for good which ultimately now kind of begs the question on will it because as of course you guys can see in the next image ahead as this massive susano goku is holding gas in place right before he goes on to throw gas into the atmosphere of the planet gas looks scared because this was the last thing that gas was ever expecting to see come from goku in the fact that this was something that had come from deep within goku in the fact that gas had no way out of the nigga granola ain't even see that nigga <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, bro. Imagine Goku grabbing Granola while he's sniping and then just tosses his ass like, yo, that'd be sick as hell, bro. This to where by the end he did ultimately pay the price by the hands of Goku and Granola, but the question here was did it work? To where as of right now we actually have a full summary synopsis, which basically lays out the groundwork as to what is about to happen. To where courtesy of DBS hype over on Twitter, the following Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 86 synopsis goes as follows: title, full power battle. As it goes on to state, gas you. And that heart was there in that last scene when Goku been the move in front of gas or whatever. You see the heart was there again. Let me go. Right there, see? What the hell is up with this heart symbol? Why is this heart symbol there? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. What is that symbol about? 
86 synopsis goes as follows. Title, Full Power Battle. As it goes on to state, Gas uses a kind of telekinesis to strangle Goku and tries to break his neck. Goku frees himself by teleporting behind him and tries to hit Gas, but Gas punches Goku. Gas then goes on to tell Goku that every cell in his body is burning like fuel and that he had never felt anything like that before, in which Gas from there had created a whirlwind in trapping Goku within it, as from there, he had carried on by firing several key blasts at Goku that had gone as far as to cut Goku's body. With Elec being happy to see his brother fighting like this, Maki says that she doesn't know if it's right for Gas to win that way. As Gas from there creates a big arm with the powers that he has and hits Goku, Oil says that it seems that Gas has aged as Elec tells him that nothing happens because his power has not diminished. Hey yo, Elec is fucked up, bro. <laughs> like, Elec crazy. He really don't care. And Elec, yo, I swoon, bro. He got he got me feeling like he look. It's either he made a wish, bro, to be the strongest, bro, or I don't know, bro. Man, I don't know where the hell this freezer at, bro. Like I'm want to see Golden Freezer too, bro. Like, bro, we already seeing Golden Freezer. Uh, I think I think they show Golden Golden Freezer too, but I know they show Golden Cooler too in Dragon Ball uh, Heroes, bro. I want to see this shit, bro. Goku tells Gas that he should be careful because the balance between his power and his body has been broken. Gas then creates big legs with his power and kicks Goku. Goku tries to attack him, but Gas creates two big arms with his power and goes for Goku. Before both collide, a key blast comes between them and it's Granola that flies in and hits Goku. Alec is surprised to see that Granola still hates the Saiyans and tells Granola that if he kills them, then he will go as far as to hire Granola again. Granola tells Goku that he has had heard the voice of Bardock in a dream and tells Goku of what he's going to do. Granola begins to charge a large key ball in his hands and Granola tells him that he will buy some time for Granola to prepare his attack. Goku stops Gas's giant fist and manages to kick him in the stomach as Gas then creates two giant feet and slams Goku into the ground. Gas sees Granola and throws a key ball at him but Goku creates a barrier to protect Granola. Gas launches several key blasts at Goku until he loses consciousness. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. Gas is exhausted but is ready to kill Granola. However, Vegeta arrives and headbutts Gas. There we so go. <laughs> Yo, man, they make me so mad with the writing sometimes, bro. Like, why Vegeta gotta wait so long to come into battle, bro? Vegeta is not finished as it goes on to continue. Vegeta tells Granola to hurry up and finish preparing his attack. Oil and Maki go to help Gas, but Monaito appears between them and makes them go to sleep with his hypnosis. Mm. Granola finishes the preparation for his attack <laughs> as Vegeta holds Gas so that Granola doesn't fail, but Gas breaks free from Vegeta and goes for Granola as Goku goes on to wake up and creates a giant body like he did when he fought Moro. Goku from there goes and grabs Gas and throws him off of the planet and Granola tries to target Gas gas, but he can't because his eye is damaged. From there, Oatmeal man, helps him and manages to shoot the large fully healed, man. He blasts in the sky in which it hits Gas, in which Gas goes on to fall on down onto the ground and Maki and Oil go to his aid. Granola didn't kill him, but he does not want revenge with anyone anymore. Granola tells them that to take him home and never come back. Goku and Vegeta reach Granola who apologizes to them as the chapter ends with Gas on the ground and it seems like they have all finally been defeated. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is terrible. This is really bad only because because despite Alec having to murder his mother, despite the fact of Alec almost killing Granola during the fight, Granola now appears as though after he was sleeping and now finally waking back up, he doesn't want to get revenge on anyone anymore, which includes both the Heaters and the Saiyans. So I'm not sure how you guys feel about all of this, but I do want to go ahead and get your thoughts down below as to what you guys think about this battle involving Gas, Vegeta, Granola, and Goku, and more specifically how everything ends off with with Gas being left alive and for Granola to basically tell them to never come back onto the planet ever again, especially now with all things considered, I want to go on ahead and get your thoughts down below on this because from a combat standpoint, I really enjoy the battle only because it looks brutal and it looks as though nobody's willing to back down by the end of this. However, by the end, it's crazy to believe that despite everything Granola had been through with the heaters, he still doesn't want to do anything to make them pay, specifically with the 
nearly killing him, it's strange to consider that with the story of Granola basically being centered around him getting his revenge, after learning that all of this basically started with Alec, it's crazy to think that he still doesn't want to do anything to him, but we are going to be covering and showcasing the entirety of this manga chapter in English once it is released on the 20th, so you guys don't want to miss out on everything that's going to transpire, including the very end of this, and seeing as to where we go from here, because by the end, it looks as though everyone's alive, and by the end, no, it wasn't just Goku who had managed to get the victory over Gas, but instead, it was a collective effort being- Bro, I'm not off that- Nah, I don't think it's over, bro. I think Alec gonna have some vengeance and hatred because he know what he done and he know he fucked up and he gonna want to get vengeance for his brother. He gonna feel like he done that, so he gotta do what he gotta do. To hey yo, that'd be it'd be crazy, man. Some way they bring Freezer back in. I don't know. This shit is crazy. Hopefully he ain't wish Freezer to, to be stronger and waste his own. Like I don't know. I'm just saying. Just just talking. This would be crazy, bro. Put in by Vegeta and Granola that had essentially allowed for them to get the victory in the end. So again, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Thank you all so much for your time. Tune back in for more if you guys enjoyed. Then be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below. Also, if you guys just... Yeah, look, man. That's the end of that, bro. Like I said, smash that like and subscribe button. Tell me what y'all think about this uh, last chop chapter in the Granola arc, man. My bad. I'm over here scratching my eyebrow and shit acting like i can't uh multi -tabs. but yeah tell me what y'all think about that uh tell me what y'all think about this chapter i mean this last chapter yeah in the granola arc man i wasn't thinking it was gonna end like that i thought elect would have fought you feel me like they would have fought elect and try to get rid of all of them but somehow granola don't wanna uh yeah well, at least Granola got some years still, you feel me? I don't know about uh, guys now. Yeah, guy, guys might be done. I don't know. Or that might not be his last form. His last form might be stronger than that, you feel me? He, he might pull off an old, old, um, like old man Boo, you feel me? Like Grandpa Boo or something. Hey, you don't know. That something might happen just because this, uh, this chapter came to an end. Hey, he ain't say it was going to be a chapter 87. So look, man, Toriyama no might surprise us, bro. Like I said, smash that like and subscribe button, man. Tell me what y'all think about this chapter, and I'm out. Gang, gang.